Hey guys and welcome! This time we're checking out a uh, crappy design. And uh, yeah, let's hop into it. Uh, let's see what kind of mistakes uh, we should avoid in this year. So first of all, we got, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the pinnacle of human stupidity. Uh, bananas wrapped in uh, plastic. Honestly, if I saw this in the supermarket, I would not even flinch. Because it's just, it just how it goes. Like, you got the stupid boss, and another stupid boss, and another stupid boss, and it's just like stupid shit happens, and I only got like one guy at the bottom is like the employee's like, what the fuck am I even supposed to do? But I guess I'm gonna do it. So I guess this is what's happening here. I would not even be surprised whatsoever, but it is uh, justifiably pretty stupid. <clears throat> but also this is pretty smart as well, because if you're a psychopath and you eat, uh, bananas with the peel on. Now you can conveniently buy bananas with the peel and the wrapper and eat them like that. Imagine that power move. You just like try to eat the banana uh, with the wrapper and the peel on. I've not tried that before, but I would say that would have uh, immense uh, psychological effect on me. After that, you can say like, you just can't say whatever. I'm gonna say yes because. <laughs> That's a boss move. Let's be honest. <clears throat> They're not even peeled. Jesus fucking Christ. Now I have to peel these motherfuckers twice. It's not like a big effort. <clears throat> uh, glass on remote. Why? Uh, yeah, just a piece of shit remote that really has not much going on. You know, the old remotes are the best. You know, they are just like... Uh, you've dropped them, you... You, like, you press them super hard, you throw them to the wall, you give it to the dog, and the tri dogs try to, like, chew it, and, like, destroy it. It doesn't work, of course, because they're built to last. And, my favorite, if you're feeling very confident, like I am, you can use the remote and throw it at the TV, at the power-off button, and if you can nail the power-off button, instead of just, like, pressing power-off, bonus points. So, you can turn off the TV like that, and this is pretty good. Obviously, this is pretty garbage. Uh, totally irredeemable. For a, so, probably some jack-off thought, like, Ooh, glass is gonna look so cool. But no, it's just stupid. It's also it's gonna have all your fingerprints on it. And there's just no buttons here either. Like, what the fuck is going on here? I want a remote with all the buttons, and I only know how to use half of them. <laughs> Because I don't care, not because I'm, I'm completely clueless, but because I just don't care, okay? It's been a while since I used the TV in the first place. <clears throat> uh, because I just don't watch TV. So, there you have it. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Let's see what we got next. Uh, trying to watch my sodium. Unsalted box is blue, but wrapper is red. Salted box is red, but wrapper is blue. If you're trying to watch your sodium, just don't fucking add salt. I'm pretty sure uh, if you just don't eat salt, uh, you're gonna be uh, just fine most of the time. Because a lot of people like, eat way too much fucking salt already. If you eat anything processed, anything at all, you're gonna have enough salt. I don't know. I don't know what would you need to eat uh, to not have enough salt in your diet. I don't know. Vegetables. With... I don't fucking know. I, I can't think of a, a diet plan that would not have enough salt in it. But I suppose it's possible. But I still would not buy two, two uh, different types of butter. Salt and non salt Yeah, it's kind of uh, silly that uh, they have a different color. <clears throat> uh, like, <laughs> on the inside. Uh, actually, I, I, I saw this already, apparently. This is your last chance. After this, uh, there is no turning back. You take the blue butter, the story ends. You wake up in your bed, believe whatever you want to. You take the red butter, you stay in Butterland, and I show you how the deep the butter hole goes. Remember, all I'm offering is butter, <laughs> nothing more. No wonder I uploaded this shit. This is the best thing ever. <laughs> Alright, what else we got? Eyesight is 2020. 2002! Oh my god, fucking great. <laughs> yeah. 
Water is a piece of trash. The thing is, they could have easily, uh... Yeah, what? I, 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 I somehow think that maybe they are repurposed from 2000 because the design is just so bad, but like... It's plastic crap, it's no, no, no point in repurposing it, so... That's, that's kind of out of the picture. Maybe, maybe someone had the 2000 glasses and had like a bunch of like twos. And they just... No, that makes no sense. There's no way, there's no way that's the case, because this is plastic crap. But this could be easily redesigned. Uh, like, you take out this zero, you take out this two, and you just bring down this two a little bit, and you like... Basically, you put one... Two, that's over here, over, over here, on the nose. Um, I, I realized that uh, her nose would be slightly in the way. But it can be adjusted. You know, it can be like a little bit curved as well. At least it would uh, say 2020. My point, but... Honestly, you shouldn't wear these glasses. It, it's just, it just trash. It just trash. I don't know. I would not even buy it, just to burn it. So, <clears throat> yeah, uh, no go there, uh, would not recommend. My pants handle is too heavy for it to stay flush with the stovetop. Ooh, <clears throat> that's pretty bad. I, I had one of these. It's really, it's not the end of the world if you're frying something and you're just willing to put in a lot of fucking oil. But if you're just trying to fry uh, some eggs, oh my god. God, why? How could you fuck it up? It's not that hard to make, right? What do the comments say? That's an excellent uh, example of crappy design. Come on! Go with some jokes! Ooh. Alphabet ice cube tray that shatters when you try to get the ice cubes out. This, this is the best. Wait. Why do you want alphabet ice cubes in the first place? I can't think of a reason. Like, the thing is with ice cubes, you usually want to use one, right? So, I guess you can have an M in your drink, kind of, or maybe your punch bowl or whatever the fuck you, you do with it. I don't know. I, I don't really use ice cubes myself. Or maybe some uh, soda you put, put, put in uh, one letter. But that makes no sense. It's kind of like the letter soup. Like, Obviously, I, I don't need that, but uh, the whole point of the letter soup, I guess, is that you can just... Oh, maybe maybe children can play with the letters? So, you know, they just like playfully playing with the letters. So those idiots uh, can uh, have some fun, I guess, and learn something maybe. I don't fucking know. <clears throat> That's just my theory. But what would you do with like big ass ice cube? I I ice, ice letters. <clears throat> No, not like anyone's gonna play with it. In order for for someone to actually uh, do something with it, they would need to have a higher quantity of letters in the first place. So, I just found an application. Easy. So, I just figured out a way for you to propose to your partner. So, first you take one big bucket, you fill it up with big beer, with a lot of beer, and then you shove in a whole tray of ice cubes in it. And if they can spell out marry me and yes, it's on. If not, I'm sorry, you didn't pass. So I would say this is a, a must buy, obviously. Uh, I like to eat here, unsure when is okay. <clears throat> Lunch, dinner, Sunday closed. Uh, um, what? What the actual fuck? This is not meant to be solved. Someone, someone solved it. I don't know. No, I don't think. No, I don't want to know. This is this is a sorcery that I don't want to know. Who the fuck even made this shit? This doesn't seem funny. This who who fucking made this? The only thing I can think of is maybe someone really struggled to make this. And they just decided, like, fuck it. I just go with this. 
I don't, I don't know. <laughs> this is not designed. Someone just really sucked at uh, using whatever software they used to to make this. <clears throat> Uh, this truck was so bright, it hurt my eyes for about five minutes. Adriana's insurance. I get it, ads. You want to be in my face, so I see you and I use your services. But guess what? That also the reason I don't want to use your service. And Adriana's insurance. I actually have a job for you. I am going to burn this fucking truck down. And I really hope fucking sure you insured it. Uh, because uh, in my face ads like that is a crime against humanity. So, in a way, they got a customer like that. Because it's pretty smart. You pay a truck driver to have this on his truck. And you also pay them. Well, actually, just encourage them to use your service. And you know the chance that the, their truck is going to uh, get vandalized is, is roughly 90% uh, per day. So... Uh, yeah, you make a lot of money. So, in a way, <laughs> the, the one who promotes your ads actually is gonna need your services the most. <laughs> is that even legal? Fuck. <clears throat> if only Louisiana were shaped like a letter in the word love, this would have worked out much better. <clears throat> but Louisiana doesn't want to be the first thing you love about Louisiana. It's uh, only gonna be the second thing you love. This is like, this is a bit of a stretch, obviously, like, Louisiana wants to be the O in love. I don't know, there's no justifying this shit. Uh, I like to see them try to pass that off as a V, and then you get people who get annoyed that the state has been rotated by 45 degrees. Yeah! <laughs> uh, yeah, wow. What is this shit? Why? Why try so hard? What I would do if if I if I really had to do this is just like have Louisiana and have the world love uh, written on it, right? At least it's not cheesy that way. I don't fucking know. Someone is trying too hard. <clears throat> what if I don't like Louisiana? <laughs> so <laughs> I may live there, but I may not love it. So there you have it. You already isolated some customers right there. <clears throat> Uh, this new hotel carpet that looks like it's worn out beyond the threadbare. Yeah, it looks uh, like old trash. I don't really get it. Uh, it's just me, or does it kind of look like a map? It almost lo looks like it, it has some snow on it. But no, this is just trash. There's nothing to say about this. <clears throat> the measurements had uh, washed off. God damn it. Why? That's the, that's the problem with a lot of products these days. You just buy it and just like... It looks okay up front, but you just don't know. <clears throat> Especially, like... And, and you obviously, like, okay, this is like... Cheap trash. You're never gonna get a refund on it or... There's no, no point. <clears throat> I, I, I found this on my new set of my headphones. It's a turn on, off... Uh, uh, <clears throat> the microphone. Yeah. I think it's with the headphones is that... In my experience, they always go, uh, something's always, uh, goes wrong with them. In like, six months, at most a year. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure why. Maybe I had crappy ones, but I, I doubt it. I, I wasn't really, like, going out of my way to buy the crappiest ones. <clears throat> if I buy headphones on their own, uh, they tend to last longer than headphones plus, uh, microphone combos. And if I buy microphones on their own... Actually, this is the only one I bought. Actually, no, this is not the only one I bought. <clears throat> I also had uh, previously microphones, uh, but they were like trash. Like, we are not quality. And uh, <clears throat> they also lasted. They never went wrong, so... I don't get it. What's up with that? So, this is not exactly the the biggest problem with, with this combo. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Mute uh, feature, off on. Yeah. It doesn't matter too much because you're not going to be looking at it, but... Obviously, <clears throat> this is an, a perfect example how much thought... Uh, <laughs> uh, they put into these uh, kind of products. <clears throat> this lighter that looks like an e-cig. Ooh, that's actually an excellent way to quit e six for life. Because either you... Uh, die. <laughs> 
Or you get such a fucking traumatic experience that you will never, ever think of using EC ever again. <clears throat> but you're probably gonna have some uh, mental issues that need to be uh, taken care of. <clears throat> I mean, if you're just uh, picking up random ECs and using them, good luck with living long anyways. Uh, oh. <laughs> but that looks cool. Why do you need such a high, strong flame? I don't get it. Uh. I mean, in Europe, it's not a bad design. <clears throat> Shoot for a bully free school. I I get it. I get it. I if if it just if I saw this in Europe, who cares? But I guess it's uh not a good design in uh, America. Shoot, but if even if we look at the functionality of it, this is completely useless because shoot for a bully fee school. Like, what is this supposed to fix? I'm just trying to think of the psychology here. But if bullies see this, uh, they will laugh at it. If non bullies see this, uh, they will be concerned about the uh, intelligence of the teachers and uh, definitely their uh, methods of dealing with the issue. <clears throat> because the bullies will look at this and like, they're gonna go like, oh my god, yes! You showed me the error of my ways! I was bullying people because I was insecure. I am insecure. And it also makes my dick hard. Fuck yeah. Now, I know. That badly shaped QR makes it even more professional? Yeah. Wait. So they're supposed to visit a site too? <clears throat> I don't, I don't know how could you really uh, affect uh, people with like uh, one uh, one poster to really go for like a, a bully free school. I would like to hear some uh, thoughts about that, but this is not it. <clears throat> and this is horrible. Deformed Hobby Lobby Christmas ornament. Hobby Lobby? Um, so Jesus is a cat with a black toupee kind of I don't know or maybe a black brain it kind of looks like a cat <laughs> with a, like a <laughs> I don't know this is this is not the best <clears throat> Jesus Christ actually well that's not Jesus I guess this is one of the apostles <clears throat> actually this is a uh, quite a good design I would say because it looks derpy, so people think like, okay, this is kind of fun. So it doesn't come up as like a as a very soulless uh, uh, garbage. <clears throat> and those who are uh, those who are Christian will say like, oh yeah, this is this is kind of what I what I want, you know, like you know, this is like cutesy uh, Jesus apostle ornament, whatever. That that's <laughs> I don't know. That's how they think. Okay, I don't know. I'm just assuming, okay? Whatever. <laughs> and anyone who's not uh, religious is gonna still say, Jesus fucking Christ, what is this shit? <laughs> and, and it still works. So this is actually a pretty good design. <clears throat> this is like the intentionally bad. And like, what the fuck is this? This is intentionally bad and you just can't look away. And like, you know, it, it draws attention that way. So I actually quite like it. <clears throat> I wouldn't buy it though. Handcrafted? Yeah, we can tell. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cat. Is it just me? It almost looks like a cat is just getting arrested somehow. Uh, that's uh, just about coming out of the gym with a towel uh, around his waist. And maybe he has like a black toupee or whatnot. I don't know. Some some kind of like a black hat. Like some kind of an Irish -y hat. I don't know. I don't know the name of it. <clears throat> or maybe I'm saying it wrong. Whatever. Uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, let's see what we do next. So, see you guys next time.